In this video, we will go over how NCSIMUL Solutions and CCMUL CAM will be the complement to your manufacturing process. Here we have a project in APT format in the 3D screen. As I backplot through, the software will show me all the tools trajectory and the material removal for each tool sequence. The strength of the product comes when we want to select what machine tool we want to run the project on. Here we can select which machine we'd like to use by right clicking and saying select machine. Here when I select a Variaxis machine, NCSIMILCAM automatically converts the APT file to the G code language needed to run on the MAZAC. Here when I zoom in on the part, we can see that the toolpath is in the trajectory of the kinematic law of the Variaxis. Here when I go to my toolpath sequences, I can see that it is in fact G code. I can backplot through and now run a simulation. Here when I run a simulation of this project, I'm going to go to the operation group, replay simulation, and tell NCSIM to stop when I have a problem. So here when I press play, NCSIM is running through and we have detected a collision of the z-axis. Since this machine is not appropriate for this project, I can simply go back and replace the machine with one with a better clearance value of the z-axis. I'll exit my simulation, go to machine used, and replace machine. Here I'm going to select a Hernley C40 with a Heidenheim controller. As soon as I click OK, the software automatically changes the APT file to the new language needed for this machine. Here we're running it right to the Hermley machine and it respects the kinematic law for this machine as well. When I open up my sequences, we can see that it is in fact in the Heidenheim. Finally, I can go back to my operation group and run the simulation to confirm that I have no issues with this project. Here I'll press play to stop on any collisions or errors and the software runs seamlessly through without having any problems. This completes the video of NC Simulcam in NC Simul Solutions.